Hey, how's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic tutorial. This tutorial is going to be over beat mapping. I, uh, I'm kind of getting behind on some of these uh, requests, so I'm trying to get these out as quick as possible. That's why you, you are seeing a lot of videos out of me as of recently, which is a good thing. Very good thing. So, um, check it out. I'm going to be teaching you how to do some beat mapping, which is awesome. Why would you want to use beat mapping? Well, let's say you have a really, really old song um, that doesn't follow a tempo, um, but you want to um, track a click. You want, you want, you want your click to be with that changing tempo. So um, you can, you, you know, add some software drums, and so it would be able to play with that changing tempo, which is a good thing, and it's really cool. And we are allowed to do that in Logic, which is even better. So check it out. I have um, I recorded a guitar track because I don't have a song that changes tempo, um, and I don't I couldn't I wasn't able to find one. So um, I just played some guitar, and I purposely did some dramatic tempo changes just so we can um, learn how to do this. Fun stuff, right? So um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to find out a basic um, tempo that's going to be at the very beginning of your song. And um, turns out my tempo was around 145, so I'll change my tempo to that. And I want my audio to start on a downbeat. Okay, so let's let's play this and see how close um, it is to uh, the actual audio. Um, it's close, it's kind of close, um, but we need to change that, we need to make it perfect and then when the tempo changes come up we can um, then um, change our tempo to those also. Okay, And what we're going to do is drag down this bar so we can see a little bit more right click anywhere and then select beat mapping okay and now when we select that audio that we want to match the click to it comes up right here in the beat mapping section now what you're going to want to do is come over here and press detect detect is going to look for transients transients are um, parts in the audio file that uh, stick out like a sore thumb that's basically the easiest way to explain it. Like this little jump right here from very low volume to very high volume, that is definitely going to be a transient. And you can, after detection, increase the transients so it um, allows more inside of this audio. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to detect it. It's going to take a little while. And boom, these white lines are going to be the transients. All right, fun stuff. And what we can do is press the plus button and it finds more as you increase it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, what we can do is grab this first. We want, we want the beginning of this lined up, this transient and this first beat, we want it lined up together. So we can click on the top and then we can kind of shift this yellow line to whatever transient we want, which is cool. So we can, I'm going to, change it right there and you can see that it moved it for us which is awesome and now I'm gonna play through my audio track and see and find another spot where a downbeat needs to occur right there that needs to also be a downbeat so what I can do is grab this transient or grab this downbeat and get it to this transient and there you go you have a new tempo for this section and if you play it it should be the very uh, like a, a perfect tempo all right and it does like that it goes like that for a while but when you have um, things that start to change then it gets kind of messy and like here uh, let's see this is supposed to be right there and so it's going to change it's going to change the tempo over a certain period of time okay and then when you want to make a certain 
tempo. Um, as you can see when you play this. Um, I want this beat right here to be on a downbeat, so I'm going to drastically change the tempo. And as you can see, that's what's going to happen. So. Actually, I think I might... Make those, and then... Do this. And this beat right here is supposed to again be on a downbeat. And as you can see, that right here at 10 is another downbeat that's closest to it. So I'm going to shift it again. And you get these dramatic tempo changes. And when there is a song that um, changes tempo a lot, you're going to have a lot of these tempo changes. And so if we can we play through this whole thing, it is going to have a good tempo, like the, it's going to have the right tempo, even though the tempo of this audio file changes. So let's play it through and see what it sounds like. Okay, so after that, we I stopped right here, so it's going to get off the click. But in this section, we are able to map the drums, or map, map this audio perfectly. And I already kind of alluded to what I'm going to be doing next. And that's going to be putting down a software instrument. Bows. I'm going to go to some Ultra Beat. Grab this up here. Um, get this kit going. Alright, now let's loop this drum kit over the um, portion that we beat mapped. Alright, let's see how it sounds. So, I mean, there was a mess up right in here, and honestly, I think that's because I messed up while I was playing guitar. Um, I was trying to change tempo, and I just messed up. I think I added like five beats in there, which is not cool. That's very not cool. So, um, that's why it was off with the drum beat. But as you can see, these minor tempo changes go with the drum beat, and we can map those to the acoustic guitar that I had done in this section. So there you are everyone, that is basically how to beat map, it's pretty easy. Um, it just takes a while to do if you, if you have a long song and there's a bunch of tempo changes, it does take a while which is kind of the bad thing. Um, but for what it's worth, I taught you something. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, remember, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me if I was not explaining this well or not and I will do something about it. Okay. Um, I need to get studying, so y'all have a great day.